I've always encouraged people to, to come down. It's where you, you get that vibe, that sense of family. There was only a few places before, so it's increasing. We had only customer on this side of the London. Now we customer coming from South End, Colchester, and they all, you know, that's increase. I can see that. One was the King Cross, which they move in Vauxhall now. And one was in Wembley, and these two were very popular in London. We used to all meet up at Hyde Park Corner. We're talking about a good 50, 60 skaters, you know, jam and cheese and just chill out. And then we would take a street skate all the way from Hyde Park Corner. It would go all the way down Oxford Street, cannonballing through Leicester Square, tourists, ah! And we'd into Trafalgar Square and eventually, years down the line, they chased us off of Trafalgar Square along with the pigeons. And there's two things that the mayor wanted to get rid of. It was the pigeons and the skaters. It's basically like a rave. It's a rave on skates. It's not just skating, it's like, it's a family place, because we know each other, like, all oh, around here. Uh, Roller Disco's been based at Vauxhall for six years. Previously, it was at Bagley's in King's Cross. It's an environment where it's not like the average nightclub. You know, if you're not clinging onto the railings for dear life, because you can't skate, you're actually out there in the ring, enjoying the moment, having fun. Is a very sad thing, Vauxhall closing. I think it's hitting people now, it's gonna be going. Because Vauxhall is closing down, I don't really go anywhere else. Like, that is my home, where I skate, where I take myself away. Land's been bought by some Chinese property developers and they're building multi-million pound luxury apartments, which outweighs anything that we could do as a business with that space. So if it means going to Stratford or going to Wembley, then so be it. I will be going. With the Westfield opening up, there was a lot of hype, there was a lot of media coverage and, you know, this is going to renovate the new area. Stratford has still got its mall sitting there doing nothing. It's become a mecca for skaters. It's open 24 hours, it's public footwear. The floor is just brilliant. There's no one there. Deserted. Even though when we first arrived, we did have a bit of trouble with security, there's been occasions where the police have been called down. They come down with their management and there was police there. I actually put it on them and I said to them, but hold on a minute, they can't get rid of us because of this bylaw to allow people travelling through. Because it's a throughway, you can't close the doors. So what are you talking about? And they were kind of looking at us and they were like, and they were looking at each other. And you could see that they knew that we kind of semi knew what we was talking about. At that point, they just turned and went. Coming in on a Friday night, um, everyone comes down, listen to music, headphones, sometimes they have stereos. We've stayed here before, like the whole night, and then the stalls have come back out and we're still here. When it can, when all the shopping centres just shuts, you know, it's, it's our place to skate. Because you can't lock the doors, that's why we're skating in here and the floor's smooth. I mean, what other excuse do you want? When I first started skating, I noticed a lot of people wearing pre-made skates, plastic boot with a inner sock. They're quite heavy. They got standard wheels and bearings. We found out when we used to ice skate, the boot was a lot lighter. It's like the lightest thing. On your feet, wow, I can go far. Drill holes for the, the roller skate the plate to go on. Screw it on and then attach the wheels. And there's your roller skate. I can do tricks on this, this is my boot. I prefer the ice skate conversions because they're much lighter, they're much more comfortable and they're much more sturdy. They're built for impact. It's great for, for roller skating. There are different sort of styles of skater. You've got uh, street skaters who like to skate on the roads more than in venues or at events and that. You've got your jam skaters who predominantly dance on skates. Jam skating is like a lot of technical footwork, various different pattern movements with, the, with your skates, kind of on the edges of your wheels, on two wheels, dance steps, routines. Got the speed skaters, so you'll see them zatting up and down the Stratford Centre. And all I remember is like this, they started playing jungle music and then they just started getting faster and faster and faster and I was like, what? I was like, wow. I was like, I couldn't believe the speed they were going because it's like you could feel the wind as they were going by. That being said, there are people that are, are 
all round skaters so they they would incorporate all all types of styles in their skating i think i'm one of those people that doesn't have a particular style i mean i street skate too strap and center i jam skate while i'm there i'll speed skate while i'm in there as well so people have a stronger style but they're not limited to that style um, it's safe to say that roller skating is a very uneconomical way of using the kind of space that is needed you know, in London's property market. You don't just get black skaters, white skaters, Asian skaters, it's all a mix of people, it's all different colour, different ages. It's like a new generation of skaters. It takes everything away, it's like I'm flying. Every skater doesn't see skates on their foot, They're, the skates are a part of them and you, you can tell when someone feels that because of the way they skate and the way they move. Skating is one of them things that's very, very addictive because it's a it's a form of escapism. You, your focus is purely on your skates and you're not thinking about what's happened during the week. But all your problems simply disappear.